and ready to take care of myself or at least put myself first sometimes, you know? So that's kind of me. This is me, this is my normal look, this is my normal hair. And I was told that that was not good enough. I think one of my favorite things about being a hairdresser is that we don't just transform people on the outside, we actually have the opportunity to transform people on the inside. It's so much more than just changing the way that people look, it's changing the way people feel. And that means a lot to me. Um, I'm Aubrey, I have four kids, a seven-year-old, five-year-old twins, and a little boy and he's 18 months and I have been supporting my husband through medical school and um, residency fellowship and now through the pandemic and all along I've been raising my kids and it's great and I'm loving it. Um, I'm also feeling like I'm ready for me time. Hi, I'm Sophia, I'm 16 years old, and I'm a junior in high school. I feel like I'm in a stage of my life where I can experiment more and choose how I look and express myself with how I look. So I've been doing hair for 12 years, and I've noticed that a lot of my clients want to embrace their inner beauty. So I've seen every age group wanting a change, whether it be 16, 35, or 50. Um, being blonde or changing their hair really gives them a more of like a empowering confidence. So it's been great, you know, being able to, to give that to my clients and seeing how every generation can have that same fire when they see themselves in the mirror with a new look. And that's honestly why I love doing hair. Hi, my name is Courtney Davis and I just graduated from Grand Canyon University for business and I'm now experiencing a change in my life. I have to go get a job. I feel like Generational Blondes is a really monumental campaign for our industry because generally when you see campaigns or magazines, the people are beautiful, but it's not as relatable to the everyday person. So by doing what we're doing with this work, I feel like it's gonna really show the everyday hairdresser and the everyday person that they can also execute these looks using Blonde Mead just like we do. I'm Melissa and I'm 51 years old and I am a designer and I design jewelry with healing energies and messages. So I get to spread positivity every day and help other people um, stay positive and um, bring good energy to themselves. Getting my hair done and taking the time to color, cut it, and make it fun um, helps me feel better inside, which radiates through the outside. Changing my hair up, I feel like would definitely, on the inside and on the outside, bring that confidence that I need to be able to be successful in this career. When you turn somebody around and their hair is amazing and you can just see the light inside of them glowing, there's nothing better. I really want to inspire other women who are gray um, or are growing gray and constantly covering it up to really embrace um, 
their gray hair and understand how beautiful and amazing it is and that there's not a stigma around it. It's something we all really should do and kind of empower ourselves to say, okay, we're older, but we're beautiful and it's all schools and it's always been hard to make friends and that's kind of lowered my confidence and I'm so bitch. <laughs> but I feel like doing something with my hair will help me be more confident and express myself and just help me feel like me finally. There's something magical about that moment when my client turns around and she sees a new look it's that change. I live for that. in the mirror and I saw my new blonde, beautiful hair. I was so excited. Um, I needed that little bit of, the word I can think of is personality. Like I just, it gives me energy, it gives me life. I just think it's so fun. And when I would wake up and do my hair, like I would think, oh, I gotta, I gotta curl it. I don't know what to do with my hair today. Is it going up? Like that's an easy thing for me. Get my hair out of my face. But with the color, I want to show it off. I love the cut. I just think that it gives me that extra push to show up for myself. I feel that generational blonde uh, speaks to a lot of different stylists and people. We wanted to show how versatile blonde me is and it, it generates through all the different eras and age groups. And I really think we hit home with all the different ages and all the different looks, all the different textures of hair, to show you guys that no matter if you're just behind the chair at a salon or at a photo shoot, you can create anything you want to create using Blonde Me. When I first saw my hair, it was amazing. It was like revealing a brand new like Maserati or like a new Ferrari. And it was incredible. I, it kind of felt like a little piece of me on the inside was showing on the out. I was so excited to do a photo shoot and a campaign based off of normal people, like everyday people that you see behind the chair. Because I feel like a lot of campaigns or like magazines in general, when the stylists that are behind the chair are flipping through that, it kind of feels like intimidating or almost like not real or achievable for them because these people don't look like their clients. So we wanted to bring people in that could remind you of the everyday normal woman and also with that accepting all ages and all different kinds of women. So it was really special. How I feel about my new hair. I love it. It's so pretty and purple and pink. I just feel like a unicorn. So that's cool. <laughs> I feel like we achieved the goal. I definitely feel like I'm more expressed on the outside, how I feel on the inside. I definitely feel more like myself, feel more creative and artistic. <laughs> I feel so amazing about my transformation. Um, when I initially was going to change my hair, you always have a little bit of um, hesitation to enhance my gray hair wondering will it come out amazing will it come out 
worse than I started, whichever it would be, and it came out better than I could have ever imagined. And my hair looks better than I think it ever could naturally, and it's so enhanced and beautiful, and my grays with the dimension, I just can't even believe that it came out this way.